Hello and good day to every one of my very wonderful viewers to another video and you are being welcomed to the channel of Gurung Vlogger ng Kuwait where we could teach you everything you wanted to learn about. Today's video will be about the first lesson for Unit 4 which is all about virtual reality and the story Flicker Fade Gone by Carl Joe Javier. But before I fully introduce the lesson, do you guys know why do people like or get addicted to play video games? In my opinion, as someone who loves to play video games, I think playing video games can be a sort of escape from reality or just something I like doing for fun. There are others who prefer the video game world more than reality, and that we can't disagree with. This could be because the real world could be harsh and too hard, and playing video games can be used as one's own reality, one where they could take control and do as they like. Like, which is much more far away from living in the real world. And sometimes even, even video game worlds are more ideally for some people, so they give more importance to that world, more than they could ever give on the real world. Even if that may be the case, we could never deny the fact that the, tr the only true world that we are able to live in is the real world, which is our reality. Now first of all, let's talk about science fiction. So science fiction. They, these are fictions that are based on imagined future scientific or technological advances and major si social or environmental changes, frequently portraying space or travel time and life on other planets. And the importance of it is that its escapist nature and exotic setting often allow the reader to delve deeply into the societal problems of that world which eventually leads him or her to realize that that what he or she is seeing is also connected to the societal problems of this world which we live in which is the real world this is why people can readily identify certain science fiction themes and novels to real world and events surprise uprisings and movements so often the issues and problems found in science fiction are those that can be found in various societies today, whether it is the question of what one is willing to live within order to have a crimeless society, as written in Arsola K. Ligwin's story, short story, the ones who walk away from Amelas, or whether it can be right for women and their bodies to be the property of men because of the dictates of religion, which is see seen in Margaret Atwood's novel, The Handmaid's Mail. This can be in any movies or video games that we see in our lives up to this day. It, and, and then it could also be made in its own ways in order for people to identify the reality that they live in and which, cuts, which catches their attention more. So a little background knowledge this is William Gibson. He was the one who conceived today's ideas about cyberspace. And he also described how gamers would play in a 90s, 1980s arcade. He described them in a way like you would see players moving their bodies in several movements while their eyes and concentration would remain focused on the screen, say, the game in front of them. In the pictures, you can see we have the personal computer or the PC games, PlayStation consoles, and a wide range of games owing their existence to the humble video games of old, such as Pac-Man and Super Mario. These video games signal the beginning of a time when human beings would at a bulky big box and feel as if they are in another world, like the virtual world. Now we will go ahead to talk about the story. Flicker Fade Gone, which has something to do with a gamer's point of view, and also which was written by Carl Joe Javier. The story is focused on a boy that has been addicted to arcade and video games, finding his comfort zone in them. Using those games and as, as an escape from his reality where he doesn't feel as important and where he, do he doesn't fit in well. His addiction with the games he played were a part of his reality for him. He wished to disappear and instead be in the games he played instead. 
who would often imagine and wish that the things he sees in reality were instead from games. He met a girl who he had felt something for, but though the girl only saw him as not someone, but only as a key that he held to help fix what she needed, and once it was over, he would be nothing to her again. This made him feel useless, of course. He went back to his comfort zone, which was playing those arcade games, and he let himself be free. In the end, the boy were to have his wish fulfilled and disappeared, just as how the title went. He flickered, faded, gone. Reality can and will always be as hard as ever, but rather than wishing for this known harsh reality, the only world that where we are really able to live in, to be a world like we see in video games, arcades, or even movies, which is the virtual reality, we should know that just like those virtual reality worlds, our real world has its own level of difficulties. And what do we do when things get hard in video games? We still go ahead and face those challenges in order to get past through them, right? The moral of the story is that that same knowledge being applied in games should be applied in reality. But not for the bad, but for the better, and not as a way to fully escape from reality. Though it is not wrong to find comfort in playing video games a lot, or watching so many things that you wish to be in them, it's still better to get a hold of reality and face the challenges that we are being given each day. Now for the vocabularies that we should keep in mind for this lesson. First one would be video games, which are a game which is played by electronically manipulating images produced by a computer program on a monitor or other display. The second one would be arcade games. The arcade games is a coin-operated entertainment machine. Third one is the arcade machine. It, it is a virtual living and ability of video game addicts to face real life. Princess Toadstool, also known as the Princess Peach whom Mario saves, referring in the story that this is the girl who is always in need of help from him. Master Key, it is what was used to repair and fix or even replace important games. Ski Ball, a game played where players roll balls up a sloping table-sized ramp. Cyclops, it is a one of the two characters the boy could become. World War II Pilots, it is another one of the characters in games the boy could play as. Space Invaders, which is the first game of the boy. And lastly, the tenth one, we have the Super Mario, which is a game which reminded the boy of him and the girl. And that would be all for this video. Any questions that will be asked can be found in the given PowerPoint that would have been presented. That's all and I hope you guys liked the video. Bye!